because the vast majority of my clients are business people, I have often in the past steered clear of using the H word, happy, happiness. Choosing instead to talk about things like success. Uh, it's funny though, it doesn't matter who you talk to. Ultimately, everybody wants to be happy. The problem is that when you start talking about happiness, most people actually don't know exactly what makes them happy. Sure, they can point back to times in the past where they have been blissfully happy. Many of my clients point back to long, sunny, summer holiday days many years ago, when they were seven or eight years old, when they just hit that golden seam of happiness. One client recently told me that he remembers when he was three or four years old, when he went through a whole period, months on end, of just being in what might be described as flow, but in more simple terms was actually described as pure, blissful happiness. Just being there. Now, unfortunately, adult life, with all its trials and tribulations and all the challenges that go with it, often mask us from the possibility that we could be truly, truly happy. And of course, whilst happiness ultimately is a state of mind, you have to ensure that you know what happiness actually means for you. You have to be able to almost define happiness. Now, you may say to yourself, surely happiness defies definition. But you have to be able to describe it to yourself so that you know what you're looking for. In other words, so that you can generate your own happiness rather than wait for happiness on the off chance that it might creep up on you. The funny thing is that when I ask people, what would make you happy? Most people shy away from attempting to answer the question. I think they're, in some cases, out of fear, or in most cases, out of really not knowing where to start to make an answer to that particular question. So let me give you a start. Let me give you some scaffolding that I have found helpful over the years in my work and personally in my own life. Let me give you some scaffolding on which you can build your description of happiness, over which you can construct your edifice of what would make you happy. A blank canvas on which you can paint your picture of what would make you happy. And it goes something like this. I am really, really good at what I do and I get a great kick out of doing it. When I do it, it makes a positive impact on other people's lives, on the lives of all I touch. I get well paid for what I'm doing because a labourer deserves his wages. I have loads of free time to do the things that really, really excite me outside my work. And I have great personal relationships and I'm really healthy. Now they are the general points. They are, if you like, the key points in the jigsaw, the corners of the jigsaw that you need to have in place before you start filling in the middle pieces of the picture. If you don't have those key elements in place, then in my belief, I don't think you have the right ingredients for happiness. Sure, I've met over the years, particularly when I worked in Africa, some people who have no material wealth whatsoever and are some of the happiest people that I've ever met. But you certainly need a certain amount to give you at least some of the comforts of life. I don't think you can be fully happy and be a complete and abject pauper. And that's why I added into that scaffolding or in, onto that blank canvas the point that I get well paid for doing the stuff that I really enjoy. The point I'm making is that all these elements mesh together and, if it helps you, as I hope it does, all these elements give you the starting point on which you can build 
your own very personal definition of happiness. Until you do, how are you going to find what you don't know that you're looking for?